Welcome to the first episode of season three of the Black and Gold Report, your destination for all the hot topics on campus right now. I'm Lauren Parker, and here's what Vanderbilt is talking about. Our global story for today is Afghanistan. Most students are aware that the U.S. pulled out all American troops out of Afghanistan after a 20-year effort by the U.S. and other Western nations to remodel Afghanistan as a modern democracy. Yet, although U.S. troops had left, some U.S. citizens and U.S. allies were still in Afghanistan. As of a week ago, the U.S. military negotiated a secret arrangement with the Taliban that resulted in members of the militant group escorting clusters of Americans to the gates of the Kabul airport and aboard aircraft in an unprecedented level of tactical coordination. In more local news, the Tennessee Department of Health recently revealed nearly 40% of all COVID-19 cases reported last week were among children ages 0 to 18. As of August 4th, less than half, exactly 42.4% of Tennessee citizens have been vaccinated. In slightly better news, though, Nashville hit a 50% vaccination rate on August 20th. You can see it from all around Nashville, Zeppos, and the now famous Zeppos Tower was completed this summer. Here to talk about her experience actually living in Zeppos since its first year of construction is Ser Sherry Gerges. Hi, Sherry. Thank you so much for joining today. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing so good. So let's talk about Zeppos. So they finished construction over the summer. And tell me about the tower, the huge Zeppos tower. So funny story. I was studying in the Wondery yesterday, which is kind of in front of the football field. Mm -hmm. And you could see Zeppos from it, right? And then I think like no matter where I go, I can see Zeppos, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like a flex relative to everything else. To Vanderbilt, yeah. It's like, we're here. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously we can see the Vandy Tower everywhere, but you also live in Zeppos itself, and you've lived there since last year. So how is it living in the newest um, residential college? It's really nice. I honestly feel like I'm in a hotel, which is not the feeling that I'm supposed to have in a dorm, but I'm not complaining. Um, there's a dining hall in there, which is really great. Really saves a lot of time at breakfast. Uh, our kitchen opened this year, which is something it wasn't like that last year. Our kitchen wasn't like open to us because of COVID. So I'm really excited to start using that. Um, but overall, it's really nice. There's about, I think, 70 something people on the floor, which is, it's a pretty big floor. Wow, that is big. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, honestly, those are all the questions that I have, but thank you so much for coming in today. Of course. Thank you. In news on campus, lots of clubs are holding initial interest meetings around campus. So be sure to check out AnchorLink for these cool activities. If you enjoy serving the Vanderbilt community, be sure to apply to join VSG, Vanderbilt Student Government, by September 17th. Additionally, be sure to head down to Anzi Blue in Hillsboro from 3 to 6 p.m. on Sunday, September 12th, to Victoria's Secret Pink's back-to-school event for free pink gear and food and live performances from Vanderbilt singers. That's it for this edition of the Black and Gold Report. I'm Lauren Parker, and for our whole team, thank you and anchor down.